triangle ABC and triangle DEF. AB is equals to FD. Angle A is equals to angle D. Then the two triangles will be congruent. by SAS axiom if option A BC is equals to D option B AC is equals to EF option C BC is equals to EF Option D, AC is equals to DE. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, actually, I have a doubt question from number seven. I have sent it now. Yes, please send it to me. Sazia. Yes, ma'am, I have sent it. Uh, you are sending or you have already sent? Ma'am, uh, now I have already sent it. Okay, uh, let me ask. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, we'll be doing it. First, tell me the right option over here. Then I'm taking that one. Yes, and rest of the student, you can also ask any question from anywhere. We are done with the revision. Okay. Ma'am, uh, third option. Yes, Tejas. Ma'am, option C. Just a moment, no. Let me use the earphone. Uh, I cannot hear you. Okay, ma'am. Yes, can you please repeat Tejas? Which one is the correct option? No, no option C. Option C. Yes, everyone, it's option C. Let's check it. We are having two triangle ABC.
and DEF. such that AB is equals to, this AB is equals to FD. Okay, angle A is equals to angle D. Angle A is equals to angle D. Then what else? What else we can have same so that this side angle side axiom, we can say that by this axiom, this two triangle are congruent. Okay, BC is equals to DE. If we will say that BC, is equals to DE. No, it's not. Okay. Because side angle side means in both the triangle in between these two side angle must come. Okay. So BC and DE is not working. Can you see that? Yes. Next one AC is equals to EF. Okay. AC is equals to EF. This is also not working. Okay, in between this two side, see the cursor. In between this two side, angle is not coming. Okay, however, in the other triangle, it's coming, but not here. So, we will reject it. Next one, it says that BC is equal to EF. BC, this BC is equal to EF. No, is it so? Options are incorrect. Let me check the last one also. It's not working. They just BC is equals to EF. Then side angle side because angle A and angle D we have done the comparison. Oh, okay. So we have just and one so option. option. See, even if without looking at the option, if you will think that this side the double where I have marked double. These two sides are same. This angle is same. One Only one possibility we are having. This side and this side. If it will become same, then side angle, side axiom will work. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. If this two green side, if this will be same, then side angle, side axiom, then only it will work. And that is option number D. So, Ellie... Without like, if you are getting confused while eliminating the option, basically just after reading the question, think about it. A, B and F, D same. Okay. Angle A, angle D same. Then what else can be same so that this will be fulfilled? So A, C and D, E and that is there in option number D. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Next, uh, Sazia has sent few questions to me. Simplify. This is what we have to do the simplification over here. Let's try doing it. Okay. So 5 is here. Fine. 8 to the power 1 by 3. 8 means can we write it as a 2 cube? Can we? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Anyone, please let me know. Tejas, can you hear me? Okay, I think it's not working. So, 8 can be, we can write at the place of 8, 2 cube, and then power 1 by 3 is there, fine. Similarly, 27, we can write it as a 3 cube. Okay, and then power 1 by 3 is fine. Okay, and everything is having power 3. Then one more exponent is there. Fine, we are just copy pasting it. Okay, let's proceed. Now we'll be having 5. 2 to the power C. This was, There was a rule that A to the power M to the power N can be written as A to the power M into N. Similarly, this 2 to the power 3 and then one more power can be written as 2 to the power 3 into 1 by 3. That means just 2. Okay, and this can be written as 3 to the power 3 into 1 by 3. That means just 3 or 3 to the power 1 if you want to say. Okay, and rest of the powers exponent, I am just copy pasting as it is. We will be having 5. 
we will be having just two over here to do the power one over here or maybe just two over here. Next is just three over here. Just a second, no? So this 2 to the power 3 to the power 1 by 3, we realize that we can write it as only 2. We realize that we can write it as only 3. And that is having power 3. Here we are having 5 and everything is having power 1 by 4. Any confusion so far to anyone? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, let's continue. Now 2 plus 3, Bordemar says solve the bracket at first and according to Bordemar's we are solving this smaller bracket at first that is just 5 to the power 3 will be there, here 5 will be there, okay. And here we will be having power 1 by 4. Now when we will proceed we will be having 5 to the power 3 is there and 5 to the power 1 is there. Directly we can write 5 to the power 3 plus 1. And here 1 by 4 is there, fine. Okay, so we will be having 5 to the power 4. And then one more exponent is there, which basically we will be doing the multiplication of both the exponent, which will cancel out each other and we will be left with 5 to the power 1 or only 5 as an answer. Are you getting it? What we did over here? First, we had written this 8 as a 2 cube. This 27 is a 3 to the power 3. Okay. So whenever you will be having this type of question, you just try to do in, try to do the factorization. If any bigger number will be there, any number, maybe 12 will be there. Suppose 12 will be there in any of the question, then you will be writing it as a 4 into 3 or you will be writing it as a 2 is square into 3. So, always in exponent, this uh, wherever simplification based on the law of exponent, always we will be writing any number, any bigger number. by Like we will do the prime factorization and then we will be writing it in exponent form. Here, just while starting, I noticed that 5 is there. Then I re realized that we cannot break 5. Okay, we cannot do the prime factorization of 5. 5 I have copy pasted. Then 8 I notice. 8 we can do the prime factorization. We have written it in exponent form. Then 27 I notice that 2 also we can do. Not only for this question. For every question from here. We will always write any given number in prime factorization. Like prime, we will do the prime factorization. And that factorized form we will be writing it over here. And then we will think that which law from the exponent we can use over here. Any confusion? No. Okay. Let uh, next also we need to discuss Sazia. No, no, no. Yes or no? No, no. No. Okay. However, I can give next question. Other student can do it. Two x plus three y whole cube is there. Minus 2x plus minus 3y whole cube is there. And we have to do the factorization over here. Please do it, no? Sazia, if you have done, great. If you have not done, please do it. And tell me what are you getting. Not only you, everyone. This question is for everyone. Please try doing it.
Um, I I got the answer seventy two x square y plus fifty four y cube. I have already done it. Uh, yes. What you said, uh, Sazia, can you please repeat? Um, answer is seventy two x square y plus fifty four y cube by using the identity. Seventy two or four? You said seventy two x. X cube, you say? X square. Okay, this is what she is getting. Rest of the student, what are you getting? Seventy two x square y. X square y, you said? Yes, ma'am. Plus fifty four y cube. Is it okay now, Sazia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So either we can use the formula that a plus b whole cube, a minus b whole cube, and then we can uh, see what can be done. Let's see. Okay. Sazia, one more step you can do over here. It's question from factorization part. So in multiplication, our answer has to be there. Something into something like that. Let's do over here. Yes, Sazia uh, will be checking it. So a plus b whole cube formula we can use, which says that a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b. Next, again, we'll be using the formula. Again, a cube. See, I have given the curly bracket because we know that there is a minus sign in between. So we will be careful. A cube. Then we are having B cube. Just a second. Yeah. B cube minus B cube. This time we'll be having. Minus 3AB. In bracket, A minus B. This is the formula, just the formula we have written and we have expanded it. 2x whole cube will be 8x cube. Okay, then bottom mass says do the multiplication. So 3 into 2 into 3, 6, 3 times 18xy. Okay, that we need to multiply with the bracket. That is 2x plus 3y. We will be doing the multiplication. Okay, then 3y cube will be 3, 3 times 9, 3 times 27. So 27, 3 cube also we are doing and y cube also we are doing because in law of exponent chapter, we have learned that if a b to the power m is there, then a will also take the power and b will also take the power. Similarly, if 3 y to the power cube is there, so 3 will also take the power and y will also take the power. From there only we got 27 y cube. Here also we'll be having minus 8 x cube. Here also we'll be having plus... 27y cube. Okay. Now in between we are having minus 3ab. So 3 into 2 into 3. 3 2 times 6. 3 times 18. Minus 18xy in bracket whatever we will be having. But since minus sign already we are having. It will become plus 18xy in bracket 2x minus 3y. Okay. Now whatever is getting cancelled out. Please cancel them. And whatever is getting just simplified the like term. Please do it. So we will be having 54 y cube just by adding this to underlined term because these are like terms. Now we will apply the distributive property. We'll open the bracket. So we will be having 18 2 times 36 x y x square y plus 18 x y into 3 x y 54 x y square. Here also we will be having plus from here we'll be having 18 2 times 36 x square y and then we will be having 18 3 times 54 x y square and again we will check anything if getting cancelled out we will cancel them out so 54 x y square 54 x y square one is positive another is negative you can see is getting cancelled out and we are just left with 54 y cube 
and here 36x square y and 36x square y will be 72x square y. Yes, Sazia, this is perfect. However, since we are doing the factorization, we will again see what is common from this two. Okay, so we can see y is common. And what else is common? 8, 8 is common? No, 4 is common. 9 is common. I think 9 is common. Check it. I know more than that we can take. Yes, more still 6 and 2 we are having. So 18 is common, I think. Right? Yes, are you getting me? 18 y is common. 18 3 times 54. 18 4 times 72. And here x square will be remaining. This is our factorized form. See, factorization means what something into something into something into something that's called factorization. If someone, if anyone will say do the factorization of 20, what we will do, we will write uh, 2 into 2 into 5. This is how we do the factorization. Similarly, if this expression is there, this expression is there, this one. And if we have to do the factorization, that means our answer should look like this 18 into y into this bracket. Getting it? We have not done anything new. We have just used the formula. It requires patience, okay, and practice. Then only you will be able to try this type of question. Patiently, you have to just apply the formula and you have to keep on just doing the simplification until we'll be getting the last step. Okay, so yeah, the next question, let me write over here. Um, actually, I'm done with the mock exams. Like we have half yearly exam in uh twenty six. Uh yes, Sazia. How was the exam? From it was easy. It was good. Yes, ma'am. You have attempted all the questions, right, Sazia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because here also we are done with discussing all the chapter, and we are just doing lots of extra questions right yes let's continue in the given figure let me write it i think someone Okay, Tejas is uh, asking something. So let me take his question only. What must be subtracted from, let me write it. What must be subtracted from x to the power 4 plus 2x cube minus 2x, let me take this now. Should I share the PDF? Yeah, let me take these questions. Yeah. I'm let me write it over here.
Okay, question polynomials. Okay. Let's discuss this one. What must be subtracted from this one so that the result is exactly divisible by this? Okay. Now, let me create an example. If I will give an example and I will ask that what must be subtracted, what must be subtracted from 12, uh, from uh, 11, okay, from 11, so that the result is, is exactly divisible by 2. 11 में से क्या सब्ट्रैक्ट कर दें कि result जो आएगा हमारा वो 2 से exactly divisible हो जाएगा. What can be subtracted from 11? Who will say? Ma'am, can you repeat again? Yes. Can you repeat again? 1 we can do subtraction. It will become 10, which is completely divisible by 2. Or we, what we can do, we can divide 11 by 2. And we can see what remainder is coming. That remainder, if we will do, if we will subtract from the dividend, then it will be completely divisible. So in our case also, let's, let's see what, what remainder will come. If we will do the division of this expression by this one, by long division method, what we will be getting as a remainder that we will subtract from the dividend and then it will become completely divisible by the given expression okay so let's do the division x square plus 2x minus 3 we are having that will divide the given polynomial x to the power 4 2x cube minus 2x square plus 4x plus 6 okay let's Continue. So here x square is there. Here x to the power 4 is there. What we will be taking as a quotient? Who will say? x square mein kya multiply kare ki x to the power 4 create kar paaye hum? x square, right? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's continue. So this x square, x square multiplied together become x to the power 4. Now 2x and x square multiplied together is making 2x cube and minus 3 multiplied with x square is making minus 3x square and now we will be doing the subtraction due to the subtraction sign each and every sign will get reversed. So this will become minus, this will become minus and this will become plus and now we will be focusing on this orange color sign only this two cancelled out plus 2x cube minus 2x cube gone minus 2x square plus 3x square will be what yes Tejas, Safia Sazia, Farhan yes ma'am just x square right yes ma'am okay Yes. Then we will copy down this 4x. Then we will copy down the 6 also. And again, we will be repeating the same question. That what should we multiply with x square to get x square? So 1, right? Yes. Let's write it. It will become x square. It will become 2x. It will become minus 3. And again, we will be doing the subtraction. Due to this subtraction sign, each and every sign will get reversed. This is minus, this is minus, this is plus. This 2 gone, plus 4x minus 2x is just 2x and plus 6 plus 3 will be 9. So what should we subtract? Now it is not divisible. Okay. What should we subtract from this polynomial? 2x plus 9, if we will do the subtraction, then we will be getting a result which will completely be divisible by x square plus 2x minus 3. Are you getting it? Yes. Okay. The next question, just a moment for, from polynomial, you are saying 33. Let me open. I am also having polynomial. Okay. 
Okay, this is the same question, right? They just we have already discussed. Okay, thank you for writing it. Uh, yeah, the next question, one more question you have asked. Prove that A plus B plus C whole cube minus. Okay, let's write it. Three A plus B B plus C C plus A. Let's do it. Okay, A plus B plus C whole cube minus this is this one. So let's continue. Here we have to show that left hand side. And right hand side both are nothing but same. Okay, it's same. So A plus B plus C whole cube formula. Have we discussed this formula? A plus B plus C whole cube? Yes. Yes, Yes, what is the formula, Sazia? Tejas, what is the formula? One formula was there, which was something related to A plus B plus C whole cube minus 3 yes, ABC, right? Plus that plus 5 plus 8 cube. Yeah. But that formula was about this one. Not I cannot hear anyone trying to say anything. Just a moment, no, let me check what can be done over here. But uh, this this one's formula we can use. But this formula was there in your syllabus. I can see that it is not there. Is it there? Let me check from the real number. If this formula we have not discussed in the first chapter, the oh, this is from polynomial in the second chapter, then we can say that how can we use, like there is a formula, okay? In mathematics, there is a formula for A plus B plus C whole cube. But I just want to confirm that, have we discussed that formula? Just a moment, no. That was the formula which was A cube plus B cube plus C cube minus 3ABC. That formula we have discussed. Just a moment, let me confirm. If this formula was there, then I'll be using it. No, this formula was not there. Okay, A plus B plus C whole cube formula is not there. You have learned this formula. X cube plus Y cube plus Z cube minus 3XYZ. Okay. 
okay is equals to x plus y plus z in one bracket in the other bracket x y y z z x okay just a moment no No, we have x plus y plus z whole square root cube. Yes, just a moment, they just x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. This formula we have discussed in our chapter, but not this one. Okay. Yes. However, if if you want to there was a formula for a plus b whole cube. And the formula was a cube, okay, plus b cube, plus 3ab in bracket a plus b. This formula we can use over here, but that will be really uh, like calculated simplification, lots of simplification we have to do. What we can see, this is b and this is just a and we can use this formula. So if this question is there in your syllabus, that means we need to stick to the formula which you are having. So a plus b whole cube, let's use it. a plus b plus c whole cube. We'll be using the formula a. Okay, the first term cube plus the last term cube. Okay, plus 3ab, 3a. And our b is this one. Okay, don't get confused. In bracket, a plus b. Any confusion so far? Any confusion? No. Yes, this is A and this is B. A plus B whole cube formula we have applied. So what? If we don't know the formula, we can make. Okay, still we can do the expansion. Minus A cube minus B cube minus C cube. We will copy paste as it is. Minus A cube minus B cube minus C cube. And we will see what are we getting. From the left side, whatever we are getting, are we getting the same from the right side? From the right side, what we are supposed to get? 3a plus b, b plus c, c plus a. Here also we will see, can we make the same? So a cube I am writing and this b plus c I am trying to expand so that a cube, b cube, c cube at first, let's cancel, cancel them out. So we'll be having this b cube, this c cube, okay? Then 3bc in bracket b plus c. Okay, and the remaining, the middle term, this one as it is will be there. I'm just trying to just cancel all the A cube, B cube and C cube. A cube, A cube gone. B cube, B cube gone. And C cube, C cube gone. And what are we left with? I'm going to write what are we left with. Are you having any confusion so far? Please let me know. 3A, B plus C. And in one of the bracket, A plus B plus C we are having. And here we ended up getting 3BC and B plus C. Nothing else. Is it clear so far to everyone? Is it clear? Let me write yes, it. Any confusion? Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Still, I'm going to check what we are supposed to prove. So, this is 3 A plus B, B plus C, C plus A. Let's check whether we can prove it from here without even expanding. Otherwise, the last option is to do the multiplication distributive property and then we will be doing the expansion. So, now here I can see B plus C. Here I can see B plus C. Here I can see 3. Here also I can see 3. So, let's take it common. 3 and B plus C. And let's see what are we left with. So we are left with A over here. This A over here. Okay. And A plus B plus C over here. And here we are left with just B, C. Any confusion? Students. Okay. Let's continue. 3 B plus C we are having. Here in the curly bracket it will be A square. It will be A, B. It will be AC. It will be BC. Now we want to just take do the factorization over here by taking the proper pair. Okay. We want to create A plus uh, A plus B, B plus C, C plus A. B plus C already we are having. 3 already we are having. Still we want to create A plus B and A plus C. Okay. 
So let's think about it. This A square we can take with AC maybe. Okay, A square and AC if we will take together. And AB and BC if we will take together. Will it help? So from here we can take out A common and we'll be left with A plus C. From this two we can take out B common and we'll be left with A plus C. Oh yeah, we are done. Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. Are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Students, are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We are done with the proof. So let me tell you what we did as per the like uh, according to our level according to the concept we know we have not used anything hi-fi we have not used any direct formula which you have never seen okay so we have just we were just using the concept which you already know a plus b plus c whole cube we were having we have used we have taken this first one as a a and the next two as a b you can also do the same question as a plus B plus C whole cube you have to do. You can take the first two as a A and only C as a B. It's completely up to you. The answer will be same. So we have done the expansion A cube and then B cube and then 3AB in bracket A plus B we have written. And then all the remaining term from the left side we have just copy pasted. Here A cube minus B cube minus C cube we are having. You can check the question. Tejas has shared this question that we are supposed to do. Proof that left hand side is equals to right hand side. And we are doing the same. We have just working, we are working on the left hand side. And this is what we have got. Now we have done the expansion. The middle one is still we have not applied the distributive property because we understand that it will be huge. Okay, so we are keeping it as it is. And we are just trying to eliminate this B cube, C cube, all cancel. Uh, all will just cancel out each other. So that's why we are just expanding this B plus C whole cube. And then we are proceeding. So we are left with this middle term, 3A, B plus C and all. And here we are left with this 3B, C, B plus C, this term. Okay. Still we are thinking that what can be done so that directly we will get the ready-made right-hand side. So we can see here three can be taken out common, B plus C can be taken out common and rest we don't know. So we are writing it in a curly bracket, then we are making a pair. See, factorization part may ye sabse easiest yes. question. Hai. Agar main kuch aisa de do, A square plus A B plus A C plus B C or main bolu is se factorize karo. To ye sabse basic question of factorization ka. Sabse basic question kya hai? Factorization ka, for example, sabse basic question hai, agar mein yahan pe 3x square y lik du, aur yahan pe 3y cube z lik du, aur yahan pe mein bolu do the factorization. So, sabse pahle kya karenge, 3 common hai, aur kya common hai, y common hai, aur kuch common hai, nahi. We'll be writing the remaining term, x square over here, and y square over here, z over here. Ye hua sabse basic question factorization ka ki ek expression diya hua tha, usse humne just common factor leke lik diya. Ab dousra jo basic question level 1 question aata hai, wo ye hai, jahaan pe a square plus a b plus a c plus b c, aisa kuch mein de du, aur mein bolu ki factorize karo. To aisa wal, aise wale question mein usually 4 terms hote hain, ya fir 6 terms hote hain, ya fir 8 terms hote hain, even number of term hote hain, jahaan pe hum pair pair le sakte hain. However, yahaan pe jab hum pair pair lenge, to ye work out nahi karega, dhyan se dekho. Okay, a square mein, plus a b se agar a common le liya, to a plus b bacha. And A, C, B, C mein se agar C common le liya, oh yeah, here also it's working, A plus B bacha. Okay, so we are just having A plus B, A plus C. Okay, this is working over here. So yes, this is how we can do the factorization. Ki jase uh, four terms diye huye hain, to hum do do term ko ek saath lete hain, common factor nikalte hain. After taking out the common factor, you will see the terms are already, just two terms are same. 